right guys, about 6 a.m. Got a project I want to work on today, but first got a couple uh, things to show you. So yesterday after putting in the um, steering box, went for a test drive and magically I got the uh, steering wheel shaft hooked up uh, correctly so I didn't have to deal with that. But the one thing that did have to deal with is the um, on the dash, the uh, air brake and parking brake indicator lights keep flickering when we're going over bumps and stuff. So I'm going to show you guys this morning where that sensor's at and uh, see if we can get that fixed. So I'm thinking this nonsense might be the culprit right here. So I'm going to have to redo the wiring on that. And uh, this is the switch that activates those parking and emergency lights on the dash so I'll get after that here and then uh, there's something else I want to show you so I got the sensor off it was only on there uh, hand tight so we're just gonna clean up the connections on this looks like that one might be part of the issue but the fact that it was hand tight and then there's all this corrosion on it we'll get that all cleaned up all right this is what I'm going to be working on today. Got this off eBay. I'll leave a link in the description. It's from Jeremy Gauss. He makes these kits. They're do-it-yourself. I like the do-it-yourself stuff. So even comes with instructions. So we're going to get that done. I have to run up to Harbor Freight to pick up some uh, receiver tube. And then I don't know if you remember a while back Willow built this cool little uh, VP racing uh, fuel jug cage it's unfinished and uh, I think I'm gonna finish it up today and incorporate this trailer hitch or trailer receiver into it somehow so we'll see how that goes got to do mock-up and then I got to head up to Harbor Freight to pick up a receiver tube and uh, a couple other things and then we'll get started all right guys we're gonna do a little fuel run uh, stop at Walmart for some fluids and then uh, head to Harbor Freight. So, let's try to do a time lapse of the drive up to uh, Harbor Freight. decided to come to a uh, machine shop that sells uh, metals instead of going to Harbor Freight because they don't carry the three inch receiver tubes at Harbor Freight so we'll go in and see what they got all right guys that was quick for 18 bucks got a piece of uh, three inch tube 18 inch section not a bad deal pretty quick service I still gotta go to Harbor Freight to find a uh, section of tubing that fits inside this because they don't they don't have the right tolerances for some of their uh, square tubing. It's like a sixteenth of an inch difference, so they only carry eighth of an inch difference tubing. So heading over there now. I was driving around to three different places. I had to stop at Walmart again. It's really just eating up my time. So we're heading home now. This 
is what I picked up. I picked up an 18 inch piece of uh, three inch outer diameter by two and a half inch inner diameter tube, a reducer to handle a two and a half inch to two inch, a hitch pin, and then a, a hitch extender. Something to keep in mind, this is the only um, square tube that they had. You ideally want to get the seamless kind. This one has a seam. I'm going to have to use the uh, die grinder a bit to take it down. And um, then this will slide right in.
Give you a fair warning, if you guys like weld porn, you probably want to look away. These are not my greatest welds, but I think they will suffice. My machine will only do uh, 5 16 and this is 3 8 steel, so I'm having to do two or three passes. But those are definitely going to be strong. That's a three pass weld there, so I don't think it's going anywhere. My GoPro is running low on juice, so that's charging. Uh, I'm going to flat black the back of this since I'll never be able to get to it again once it's on the truck because you got to weld it to the bumper beam. So we'll get that done and then we'll continue on. gonna be it for today I got the uh, fuel jug cage welded up got this bad boy on here Jeremy did a really good job with these they're pretty awesome it's a good kit getting inside that little cranny there is pretty hard to do but I was able to get something in there but the only thing left that I'm gonna do today is do some painting and uh, I'm not gonna torture you guys with time-lapse on painting so if you guys uh, like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit like, subscribe, and as always, I'll catch you guys next time. See you later. Bye-bye.